Okay then, progress report. All four pistons and con rods are in. So what I'm going to do, or what I've just done really, is I put the cap on the big end uh, and I put some plastic gauge in there to check the bearing clearance. Um, I measured it and I believe these are 10 over or 10 under so the bearings are 10 over um, it's, by spooky coincidence it matches what was uh, in the other engine different crank so what I'm going to do now is get the plastic gauge gauge and measure to see how thick that is so this is the plastic gauge and that's the readings these are the thicknesses of that in thou which gives you a bearing clearance in thou so what you do is you match the thickness of the squished bit of plastic gauge to that line and that gives you a value it's a little bit tricky to get the actual reading so it's probably It's going to be about 1.75 to 2 thou. It's definitely bigger than 1.5. Probably 2 is the best match. So, somewhere around about 2 thou. So, we'll check to see what the clearance should be. So according to the Haynes manual the bearing clearance should be 1 to 2.5 two thou so our 1.75 to 2 ish is absolutely spot on I should probably check the others as well just to make sure and then I'll get some new bearings to go in there because these ones have got a little bit of scarring on them Ok then uh, pistons are in uh, the head face has been cleaned off I cleaned off the face of the pistons as well they had a bit of carbon on them the uh, big ends are all uh, nipped up for the moment until I get some proper bearings. So my next job is to put the studs back in. These are ARP studs because you can tell they've got, well they've got ARP written on them for a start off. And uh, they've got a hex uh, key in the top of them to screw them in place. So I'll put all those in. Then the head gasket. Then the head. Uh, then the push rods. Then the rocker assembly. Probably a torque figure for tightening these, but I've no idea what it is, but tight tight. Okay, so that's all the head studs on, all nipped up tight. There's a couple of them didn't go down as far in as the others. Um, so I checked the uh, the threads and everything, it's all clean, it's just the hole isn't drilled and tapped as deep. So head gasket next. This is the uh, pretty much standard for turbo stuff BK450 and you can see it's obvious which way around it goes it's even got top written on it so you know which way is up so we'll just pop that on and then cylinder head next Okay, time to put cylinder head on. It's a uh, pretty normal big valve head, 28cc chambers. Uh, it's written on there, I think it's an even bar head. So we'll stick that on. It's had a, a quick clean up and it took about an inch of paint off it to uh, get it back to bare metal. So we'll, uh, ouch. 
So I'll nip my fingers if I'm not watching what I'm doing. Why is it not going down? There we go. Just needed a wiggle. So our next job, all the uh, nuts and bolts, there's a stud missing out of there, got to find that. Push rods and then the rocker assembly. Right, that's the head talked. Um, thing to remember with ARPs is they don't go to 50 pounds per foot like a normal uh, stud. They only go to 42 it says on the, on the, uh, on the paperwork I've got. Um, and then uh, obviously you've got to make sure with the lubricant as well with the assembly lubricant that comes from ARP it's like a molybdenum grease of some sort so you put that on the threads so that the uh, the tightening force isn't going against the threads it's purely a clamping force so that's all done I mean I could set the tappers if I wanted to but I don't know if I can be asked I might do it uh, what I'm going to do next is just for shits and giggles I'm going to clean off the back of the cylinder head here and just hang the turbo and stuff on it just to see what it looks like because I've never actually opened the boxes fully with all the bits in to see what I have so that's the turbo and the manifold bolted on like I said it's just really to uh, just have a look to really see what it looked like uh, there's probably not a lot more I can really do I mean I can put the core plugs and things in uh, I can set the tappets and that's probably about it really I'll put all this uh, bits and pieces back in the various boxes like that one in the floor um, because I'm not going to be doing any in the short term but at least now I've got it together I just need to remember to get some bearings for the big ends so I know they're right uh, and I think I can have a tidy up and uh, chuck out of any bits left over now there will be some old bits of timing chain and uh, what not ok then that's it for today uh, I'm gonna call it a night do a little bit of work on that turbo engine in the morning and then have a tidy up and a chuck out a session of all the old bits and pieces like the old timing chain and whatever's in these boxes scattered about and then uh, I can move it off the engine stand and put it to one side somewhere and try and keep it uh, wrapped up and clean until uh, the prospective buyer um, decides if he's going to buy it or not because I don't want it, it's no good to me ok that's it uh, don't forget like, comment, subscribe etc etc and I'll see you on the next bit of video which will be I don't know, it might be more tidied up in here or it might be actually tell light, it might be work on Bumblebee and Austin but we'll, we'll see what happens with that